Hello, in this video I'd like to show you uh, the camping box which I have designed and built. This camping box is meant to be used uh, uh, when you're wilderness camping, be it uh, at a drive-in site or canoe camping. Uh, it has a number of features which I uh, wanted when I was designing it. Uh, it has two sides, uh, one for cooking, the other side for cooking, and, uh, cleaning and preparation, as well as the top can be also used uh, for preparation as well as storing other items. I'm going to show a few of the uh, uh, features uh, that I've designed into this camp box. On this side, the shelf is held up by an eyelid bolt connected to a piece of airline wire, aircraft wire, uh, adjust, uh, to an adjustable bolt which allows you to raise or lower the shelf, which helps you level out the stove. Uh, if there's uneven ground, it gives you that minor adjustments. The stove is, sits on top of a piece of galvanized steel, which helps radiate the heat back up to the stove, as well as protecting the wood underneath. As well, uh, the cables and the eyelets on the side prevent the stove from coming off the side of it. It won't move. And at the front, the steel has been uh, bent uh, to be raised, to prevent the stove from falling off uh, uh, coming forward. On this side, you can see I've left enough room to be able to put pot handles or any other items that you want quick and easily accessible while cooking. As well, these adjustable uh, eyelets also can be used to hook on uh, cooking utensils. On the side, the wing nuts here that are holding up the support structures can also be used to hang items like dishes uh, for drying and easy access. On this side, we have a shelf which can be used for washing dishes, or if you remove the wash basins, can also be used to prep any uh, food or uh, provide a serving area uh, for food that's already cooked. When the stove or other items are not in the box, you can also use these compartments uh, for storage for quick access, such as uh, dish soap or any other camping equipment that you might need. As well, the top uh, provides quick, easy access for something like a water jug that you can easily pour the water into the containers or into any kind of a uh, water bottle that you might have and can simply be put up. You'll also see, just as an example, how stable it is where I can put this here and even press down and the box barely moves. So when you're ready to set up uh, to head out uh, after camping, um, all you need to do is just nest the pots that we have here. Inside this pot, I also have a backup stove as well as the pot handles that fit easily inside of that. We then put the camp stove back together. Inside I have a uh, spare fuel container that I use for a uh, small uh, extra stove that can just fit uh, neatly inside of the camp stove. It all folds up. The camp stove slides easily inside there. The pots and pans can easily slide in the top. The dishes in the bottom here and there's still lots of room for things like the utensils. On this side I've nested everything into the uh, dish pans, all the camping gear and uh, oven mitts, that kind of thing that we need uh, slides easily inside of that. We just close up the box, make sure the lines are inside. And we're done. So we're getting ready to leave today uh, and we're going to be taking down the camp kitchen box. Uh, putting it together is just going to be the reverse of how we take it apart. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking off these wing nuts. We'll remove the bolts and then that will loosen it so that we can remove the table legs and lower it to the ground.
So that's the end of the demonstration of the canoe camping box that I built. Uh, as I said, there's handles on the side, uh, on both sides, which makes it easier uh, for loading and portaging. Uh, let me know what you think. Also, if maybe you've built something uh, similar, uh, please uh, share ideas. Uh, if you have any suggestions on how uh, I might improve this, I'd love to hear it. Thank you.